Hey, hey, my friends, I am back again this week, this time to tell you all about our brand new Isla crisscross back dress or cross back dress, whatever. It's got a super cute back, it's a super cute dress, and it's here, and it's new, and let me show it to you. So, if you have been around with LuLaRoe for a while, if you've been familiar with LuLaRoe for a while, you know that we used to have a kid's line, and we used to have a dress for the, for the girls called the May. And we spent years telling them we want a May in adult sizes, we need a grown-up May. And finally, we no longer have May, but we now have the Isla for the grown-ups, and I am excited. So, friends, this is the Isla crossback dress. So, the crossback is nothing as crazy as the Daniela tank, but look at how cute it is. Look at that super cute little detail right there. Very, very cute. We have an elastic waist right here. So, I have it pulled up and bloused, which is how it's meant to be worn. If I pull it down, which I suppose you could if you wanted, then it's going to hit me right here. That's actually kind of cute, too. I'm actually kind of down with this look. So I've only tried this one on. I came home from the gym. I tried this one on. I went and took a shower and I got pretty for you so I can make this video. I haven't tried on any other sizes yet. Um, but elastic waistband, I suppose you can pull it down here like I was saying. It's kind of cute. Um, I have mine pulled up to my waist, my smallest part, and then bloused. And it's super cute. Of course, we have pockets. They are not our typical, like, a hidden pocket that's in the seam. You can actually see them right here, which is actually better for the sticking out of the pockets. If you've ever had anything where we have those hidden side seam pockets, sometimes they do kind of stick out a little bit here. But these lie nice and flat. We have a dolman sleeve, which just basically means rather than sewing a sleeve on so that you have a shoulder seam right here, they sew, sew the front and the back together, putting the seam right here in the um, on the top. And it's a cap-ish sleeve, so it's a little bit longer than a cap sleeve, but it's very loose, nice, flattering sleeve look, which I really like. It's not going to like squeeze your arms or make them feel bigger or anything. That little bit of extra that sticks out right there makes it like super flattering. And then the dolman gives you just a little bit of this but uh like wing-ish but it's not really very wing-ish but it's not gonna go straight up into your pits because it's not a sewn on sleeve if that makes sense all right so um we have a wide neck when when I say wide I do not mean don't freak out you, know, you can see it. it's not super wide that's gonna show your bra straps but rather than scooping down it goes out a little bit wider but still a very significant um space here between where my bra strap lies and this. So it's not going to show your bra strap. Even if I was wearing one of, I just have some bra straps that are really thick. Even if I was wearing one of those, I don't think that it would show today. Um, but a super cute kind of feminine high neckline. And that is the Isla. Oh, and the hemline also super cute. It's like a shirt tail hem. So it's almost like a boyfriend. Let me like you're wearing a man's shirt as a dress, except obviously it's much longer. So it does have, I'm wearing, I'm wearing my driven shorts underneath this, guys. I didn't feel like looking for Spanx, and I always wear Spanx. So um, it has that little slit that comes up on the side. It's actually not very long. My driven shorts go almost all the way to my knees, and I've got it pulled up a little bit. So a little slit on the side. It kind of swoops there in the front. And then down again in the back with just those little slits. Nothing too crazy. Nothing like, you know, the violet skirt that has the slits on the side. Those come up to about here on me. This just hits right at the knee. Um, super cute. Kind of fun, sporty look to me. Um, I think it would be super, super cute in like tennies or slip-ons like I'm wearing right now. Or you could definitely dress it up with some heels um, and some fancy accessories and all of that. So I feel like this is going to be a really cute mom-on-the-go dress or a really cute like mom out for the night dress, right? So let's talk about sizing now. I am wearing a medium for the size chart on the Isla. A 10, 12 would be a medium. So usually when the size chart is laid out in that way, sometimes a 12, 14 is a large. Sometimes a 10, 12 is a medium and a 14, 16 is a large. So usually when it's broken down in that way, I'm right about a 12, 14. So I'm kind of right on the edge of both. Typically I find that I like the medium in, um, in the styles that are broken down in that way. And this one is a medium. I actually feel like the large might be too big. I am going to try a large on for you for this video um, because, you know, depending on the amount of bloat or the amount of cookies I had the day before, I might be closer to a 14 than I am a 12. But um, I feel like for me, the medium is good. I think a large might be a little bit too big. And I mostly think that because this waistband, which... 
So you can see it is a full on waistband with some shearing here. So that kind of the, the way that that falls right there, that is really to give it a flattering fall, um, a flattering drape, if you will. So we have the encased waistband right there. It is very, very stretchy. There's lots of room in it. So I feel like I could even size down, which I'm also going to try here. But um, I feel like because for me and my hourglass shape, you, of course, always take your shape into consideration. Um, this is the smallest part of me, and that's where that waistband is going to sit. And so that's why I feel like a large might be a little too big. It might slip a little bit. But I don't know. I haven't tried it on yet. So I'm going to do that for you next. I'm also going to try on a small. I don't think I'm going to do an extra large today because I do think that that one would be too big. But we will um, reassess after I try on that large and see. Um, but yes, it's very exciting. I should also talk to you about materials. We have two materials, I believe, today. That's all I've seen in my box thus far. Um, we have a Terry. So this is the Terry that I'm wearing right now. Um, where you may have heard Terry before are Jacks or a French Terry. These are softer. Um, super, super soft. They're almost um, remind me of, we had some errands like this, that they kind of remind me of that as well. The inside is not as fuzzy as those errands were, but the outside is very, very, very soft um, and has really good stretch. I really, I'm really liking this fabric. So that's that one. The other one is a Hachi, which if you have been around for even a minute, you've probably heard of Hachi. So I am going to try on a Hachi one next so that we can see that as well. And I'm just super excited about this dress, guys. As always, we will be live at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 7 Eastern. Today is March 10th. I think it's Thursday. So if you're watching this on another day on the tube, that's okay. You can always feel free to send me a message and I would love to hook you up with one if you love it and you need it in your life. Um, or again, hit me up on Facebook. I'm there. Our live is there tonight. Now, Let's try on a large, shall we? Okay, hello, I am back. This time I'm in a large and the other material. So um, if you can see it, it's got that little bit of fuzziness to it, that super soft Hachi material. We all love, we just recently saw them in Eliza. We've seen them in Amber's in the past, a few other random things. It's that softer, like sweatery type material, but it's still nice and light. It all It has okay stretch here and then this waistband has plenty of stretch as well um this one is a large and the other material um I, I, I do feel like it's just too much fabric for me. So for me, I definitely like the medium. I am going to try on a small just to see. That's going to be a significant size down for me because like I said, I am between a 12 and a 14 depending on, um, you know, girl stuff and cookies. So um, it could, I think I'm closer to a medium though in this dress, which is definitely what I would stick to. I don't think that I would go for the large. There's a lot of fabric right here that I have bloused over. Um, or if I wanted to wear it, oh, that's a door. If I wanted to wear it straight down, that's not actually too bad. But um, I just feel like it's a lot of fabric. It's, for me, I'm 5'4", guys. This is almost a maxi dress when I pull it down like this. I could actually I could pull it down a little bit more. That's almost like a maxi dress. It almost gives me Maria vibes right here, except that there's this waistband down here around my hips. Um, that's It's actually not too shabby of a way to wear it. I don't hate it. But it is intended to be pulled up a little bit more with a little bit of a blousing. Um, this material, though, I'm telling you, is so stinking soft. I am really loving it. But now I want to try on, and again, I feel like this is a lot of fabric. This, um, There's a possibility I would do this size, but I definitely wouldn't go higher, so I'm not going to try on an extra large for you. I don't uh, recommend sizing up in this particular piece, so there's no reason for me to show you any higher. But I will try on next a small to see um, if we want to consider sizing down. So let's do that now. Okay, hello, and here we go. We have a small. So this one is the uh, French, or the Terry material again. Um, I haven't unlocked, unloaded the whole box yet, so I don't know what we have in each size. I don't know if it would make a difference uh, in material-wise if we were to uh, try it. Maybe I'll dig through and see if I can find one in a small so that we can see. This one is actually not too bad. Now, I am wearing um, driven shorts underneath this. They do have a little bit of compression. I typically, well, not typically, I 100% always wear shorts underneath my dresses. Um, Thunder thighs are real friends. So I always have shorts on whether or not they're like spank type things with any compression or not. Just kind of depends on the type of dress. I feel like with the small, um, it's not 
actually too horrible. We have a little bit of room here, um, but I don't think I would wear it without some kind of compression underneath. That's just me personally. It hugs just a little bit right here, which you can see it. I'm pointing it out so you can see is my least favorite area. You can kind of see that roll right there that I have that I just can't handle. So um, for me, if I pull it out and I stand just right, you guys, I can absolutely look at how that looks super cute. So for like a picture like that, I can do it. But I think in day-to-day -day life, I would be very self-conscious of the way that it's hugging right here. Um, so a medium for me, that would be basically my size chart. My go-to size in most things is pretty spot on for me. Now, um, if you do not have the FUPA issue that I have, then this might be fine. Or even if you don't mind it, or maybe we have a print, something like that may be a little bit different. Solids always make that much more noticeable. So that might not be too bad. This is definitely not doable. If there is, or not undoable is what I mean. I can do it. Okay. Um, if I find one that I just have to have and it's a small I would probably do it. But overall, I'm probably going to be shopping medium for myself. And that's going to be my true size, my go-to size in most things. So that's going to be your safe bet for you um, personally, I believe. Now, um, it did make the length on this a little bit higher, which is kind of nice because um, I've I don't mind a little like above the knee action, but this hits just below the knee and it's just fine. And of course, don't forget about the super cute back on it. That cross back in the back is so cute. Now, um, it might be a bad idea. I might end this on a very bad note. It might not be a good look for me, but I think I'm going to try an extra small just just for fun. The, the waistband is so stretchy that I definitely feel like I can do an extra small. Now, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Always remember that. But I'm going to do it anyways, just for fun. Maybe just for a good laugh. It'll be just be real quick, just real quick. Well, you know what? It's not too bad. It's not too bad. All right, here we are. So this one's an extra small, just for funsies. I am a solid medium, maybe even a large, depending again on the style. Um, I've been back in the gym. Maybe I've lost a little bit of bloat, which made me more comfortable in the medium than the large. But this one's an extra small, um, intended for a size 2'4". I'm clearly a 12, 14, so we are in, we're, we're missing a one in there, but it's actually not too shabby. It is meant to be a little bit more relaxed than this, but this is the Hachi material this time, and I feel like it doesn't cling to those areas as much as that, um, as that one did. So I will say for me, just because I think the material, the thickness of it and the way it hangs, it just doesn't cling quite as much. So this one isn't bad. Now I probably will not go out and buy an extra small for myself. Again, I just wanted to do it for funsies and I knew this one was a Hachi material. So I wanted to see if that made a difference. Um, so maybe it does a small in the Hachi might've been great, but I'm going to really stick to telling you going with your true size and knowing your own body type and personal preferences. If you need help, on say body type or things like that um please reach out i'd be more than happy to help you but um it's it's a, it hugs a little bit right here through the hips it's not too bad but again it's not what it's intended for so i will stick with my true size that's what i recommend but again like i was saying knowing your preferences your body type that kind of thing is gonna what's gonna help you decide the size that you may want for this particular dress so um i don't think i ever mentioned it and i'm very sorry complete oversight this brand new dress is 50 dollars. it has the amazing cross back it has the dolman sleeve it has the pockets it has the waistband it has the super Super cute hemline, and I am living for the Isla. So again, today, March 10th, we are live on the book. If it is past that and you need one in your life, feel free to reach out. And if you want to learn more about LuLaRoe and LuLaRoe styles, or you just think I'm silly and you want to watch it or watch me when I do these silly videos, then uh, please subscribe to the channel and give me a like, my friends. Thank you. And I will see you for the next one.